Hey guys, today we're gonna play around with the items I received in the August Slay Glam Beauty Box. And if you guys remember, there was a lot of green. Well, what are we gonna come up with, girl? I don't know. And there's a few people who are really, really curious, girl. I'm curious too, so let's figure this out together. You already know, it doesn't matter what colors we are going to play around with. Common practice here on the channel is using the Clean Canvas by Joad Cosmetics because it's the freaking best and it is what it is. If you don't like agree, it's probably because you haven't tried it. It's absolutely amazing. I have every single color. My favorites are Fair, that's number one, and then Medium, but they also have White and Cocoa. I am stalling because I was trying to find my little uh, sponge. I'm gonna pop some here. I love this formula. A little bit goes a very long way. You can build it up or just apply a teeny tiny amount. You can even use this under the eyeball and not in the eyeball actually, but you know, like under the eye to kind of balance out the under eye area, create a clean canvas and then go on top of it with your concealer and it just looks beautiful. So if you have really dark under eyes and you're having a hard time learning to color correct, using the clean canvases is a really good hack. I'm gonna take a fluff, I'm not even gonna go in the crease quite yet. I'm gonna grab the fluffy brush, this is by Alter Ego. I am going to apply Evening Emerald on the middle of the eye. Oh yes, oh yes. That is the formula I'm used to. All I did was tap, I haven't dipped back into the pan and the area that I wanted to cover is fully covered. Fully covered. This shade is so stinking pretty. And I know you guys were saying like August is green month cause you know, Peridot and stuff. But listen, it's just, I get it. Okay, let's, you know, it's a green month, but it's really green. Everyone released green, so I just feel like Earth went from pinks all of July because of Barbie to throwing up greens in August. I don't know, let's go with this one. So I'll go with the um, lighter green and I'll tap her in here. That way it'll be a gradient from matte to shimmer. It's definitely pigmented, but from afar it looks really opaque and then up close, it, there's certain areas that are slightly patchy but are not as noticeable. Like you really have to look at it to be like, oh, it's patchy. So I'm gonna act like it's not there. We're just gonna keep pressing the pigment on there. What I was telling you guys was, I wish that one of these shades down here was a deeper forest green because that would allow me to smoke this outer edge. I could either work with what I've got and try to deepen it based on how it is, or I can go in with a brown. So I'm gonna close this right now. I'm hoping for the best. I'm gonna use a very slim, thin brush and at an angle, I'll kind of start off by blending out this duochrome. So sometimes, not every single duochrome, but depending on the base of the duochrome, when you blend it out, it'll deepen the actual color. So the more you blend and blend and blend and blend and blend, the pigment, the dark pigment kind of starts to appear a little more. Do you guys see how it looks like there has a gray undertone to it? That's what I'm talking about. I am going to lose a little bit of that shimmer, but that's okay. I can always go back in. The idea is to use that very same shade to deepen the crease a little bit. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, if you don't want shimmers to kind of gravitate all over your face, that's fine. Use another eyeshadow. I'm trying to work with what I have in the palette and then I'll just remove the shimmers that kind of like stray. I know, <laughs> I have glitter everywhere. That's nothing tape can't help me with. And yes, this can be very annoying. So I'm gonna highly recommend you do your makeup like after you've done your eyes, if you're gonna do something like this because <laughs> It gets messy. I'm gonna go back in with the same brush and I'm gonna reapply whatever little bit we've lost. I look like a green fairy just like sneezed on it. It's almost like the shimmers keep falling. I'm gonna grab some lashes really quickly. These are by the AOA in Scarlet's. Y'all know I love these. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna pop these on and then um, we'll come back, figure out what we're gonna do with that green mascara. All right, you guys, so, so far so good. How do we incorporate the pencils? Green is so much. So I'm gonna skip on the green. What if, just bear with me, let's work on something. I'm gonna do the black pearl. I'm going to apply that, not necessarily directly on the lash line, at least not yet. 
I'm going to apply that underneath. I'm gonna bring it all the way in. Remember, this is the one that's really, really creamy and I really liked, at least out of the three. So I'll go along the lash line and then I'll bring it out. And then I'll grab a smudger brush. I'll bring it all the way out like this and gently pull in. And the brush I'm using is a BK Beauty brush. This is the 209. When I tell you this is my new hands down favorite, like I've been loving them for over a year at this point, you guys. It is an amazing brand to invest in when it comes to brushes. These are gonna last you forever. And they literally have a brush for everyone. Oh, and for those of you who have hooded eyes, they have a whole set specifically that caters to people with hooded eyes. So they've literally thought of everything. I'm gonna take that same BK brush. I'm gonna dip it in to the deeper matte green and I'll smudge that just over that black liner. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna give me that navy green, that army green, that olive that most of us love. And I'll use, wrong finger, I'll use a finger to diffuse that. I'm gonna have to go in with that black on the waterline because that is just what's gonna make sense. And now the green mascara, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't think this mascara is really gonna show off green on the bottom lashes like that on its own. So I think I'm gonna have to create a base for it, which will be another mascara and this one will be black. So I'm gonna use the Melloway mascara as a base for the green, almost like a primer when it's not. That way the green has something to grip onto. All right, and now we're gonna try the green mascara. All right, it shows for sure like I can see it. I don't know that the camera's picking it up. I could see it, but there's just so much green going on that it kind of gets lost in there. This would be a fun mascara to use specifically when you want a pop of color. So simple eyes and then add the green for fun. There's so much shimmer all over my face. So I'm gonna skip on using this, but you guys already saw what this looks like. Y'all already saw the green and the white literally looks the same once applied. I applied it on my eyes. It is stunning. The only thing is it is super shimmery like this. So you might not want this on your cheeks. And then we're gonna do the lippy. I'm gonna apply the lippy. I'm gonna remove, hold on my towels right here. The lip gloss has been removed. I will go. <laughs> Ay Dios me. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, this is a hell no. It's cute if my eyes were not green. I feel like I'm gonna go visit leprechauns. I also feel like I need heavier lashes. You guys, I upgraded the lashes to like the heaviest ones I have because I'm just not in love with the eye. This is just so much going on. So I am going to fix this and I'm gonna fix this fast because this just is, this is not, this is a hot mess. This is not glam to me. I love the shimmer up until it's, the shimmer got way too messy, okay? I just feel like the palette would have been way more well-rounded. <gasps> Look at my lips. This is a train wreck. I told you guys, when it comes to beauty boxes, you can get amazing products and you will, but you're not going to always get a box that'll help you create a full on look. So very often you kind of have to figure this out, fix it, make it work. I'm gonna grab my Bioderma. I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna remove all of this darn shimmer out of here, cause that's a lot, jeez. And that only happened because I blended out that crease so that I didn't have to dip into another palette. This outer corner is good, I like that. See, like the greens on the eyes is really pretty. Now I'm gonna gently dip, oh, wrong palette. Can't show that one. Now I'm gonna dip into a shade that I feel may work to blend out the crease. I'm gonna go into the Miami palette by Ofra. I'm gonna go into the deeper brown shade and I'll go along the edge here and start to deepen that up. And we're gonna build on it, don't worry. I'm just kind of creating a base for this correction. Clean, fluffy brush, I'm gonna diffuse that into the crease. And then with a teeny, tiny brush, I'm gonna dip into a black, any black that you have works. And I'm gonna go along the edge there. See, so if we had more options, we could do so much more. All right, so with a lot of tweaking, I was able to fix the eyes to something that's a little more my liking, but now we have to get rid of all this damn shimmer. So I am going to kind of touch up the skin a little bit. Girl, there's so much damn shimmer that it's getting my nose and it tickles. And then I'm gonna rebronze really quickly. 
On the lips, I'm gonna go nude. So I'm gonna use the P. Louise Shady Lady, and then I'm gonna mix that with Give Them Lala Beauty's Booty Call. You guys, I would even typically go in with a gloss on top of this lip combo, but girl, all this shimmer, I'm good. I, I think I'm done with shimmer for today, maybe for the week. You already know I have thoughts on these products, so let's get into it. The black liner was actually nice. I know we got three of them, but the black liner was the one that swatched way better, so um, I wanted to go with that one, plus it helped me transform the under eye, which Lord knows we needed. So I'm gonna say thumbs up for the, um, um, what is it called? I can't think. Velvet? Is it velvet? Black Pearl. The highlighter I didn't use in today's video, but I already gave you guys my thoughts. The lip gloss packaging is freaking stunning. When it comes to this eye look, I'm gonna say the lip gloss is gonna be an absolute no in terms of combination, but once it's on, it's pretty. It does have a green shift to it, guys. So you're going to wanna be really careful with whatever I look you are going to pair with it. Cause if you do blue on the eyes and then go in with this and it shifts to a green, it's gonna look weird. So just use precaution when you're gonna pair it with an eye, but it's really nice. And although it's really, really shimmery, you don't feel the glitters on your lips. The mascara surprised me. I could see it in person. It looked really nice. Given the fact that I applied a green underneath and there was just so much green going on, you wouldn't really see it pop. So I feel like I'm gonna keep her from not just because the packaging is pretty, but I feel like I would actually really use her. It would look really pretty if I would just create the most neutral brown, very light, everyday wearable eye look and then add a pop of green on the bottom for the fall, it would look beautiful. And the eyeshadow palette, listen, is nice, okay? It's nice. I'm not gonna poo poo on it at all. The formulas formulated, the pigment pigmented, okay? And it blended. I'm not mad at it. It's really good. Just, just, when it comes to blending out these two shades on the crease to deepen it, just know that when it comes to these formulas in particular, the shimmers are going to gravitate. They're just gonna move around. Does that happen with every single formula? No, I've actually used Rasha B Cosmetics formulas in the past, their duochromes um, and their shimmers, and I've blended the very same shimmer on the crease and it doesn't move around as much as this one. This was crazy, <sighs> like all over the place. And no, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just pointing out that this is going to happen to you guys, okay? All of this, so if you don't want the eyeshadow to gravitate all over the place, you have two options. You either do the eyes first, blend that crease out with the shimmer and all of that like I did, and then <laughs> worry about the face later, or skip on blending the shimmer shade in general. Tap into another eyeshadow palette, tap into another shade that you might have, and call it a day. And if you're wondering why I didn't do that to begin with, well, I like to challenge myself and I like to test out formulas. Again, I've done this before. This doesn't happen all the time. I think the eye look came out really fun. You can still see the vibrancy of the green. You can still see the shimmer and then the crease is just very, right? It started off well and then it slowly turned into a train wreck. But then we recovered, girl. I think this is fun. It's different and it still has a pop of color. So I'm not mad at it. Do these things happen? Yeah, it's a good thing that I know how to fix it. It's just, mm, it took longer than I needed to to create this look. But you already know, it is your turn to hop on the comment section and let me know what do you guys think. Did you think I could recover from the train wreck we had going on and that shimmer just all over the damn place? Is this a look that you would rock, that you would create, or is this something that's just like a fun pop of color that you would do just when you're playing around? And hey, if you're new here, I wanna invite you to join our little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. I upload six days out of the week because I wanna make sure you have fun ongoing content at all given times. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out. And if you do, I will see you guys over there. Bye guys.